Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Carl Hurstman, and I will be giving a short presentation on the evaluation of new rootstocks for the SA peach and nectarine industry. So why test new rootstocks? New rootstocks are continuously being imported into South Africa due to the highly variable nature of our growing areas, variations in soil texture and quality, variations in climatic conditions, referring both to the adaptability of the cyan as well as the rootstock and the synchronization between the two, the presence of parasitic nematodes in our soils, calcareous conditions, as well as high or variable water tables, all impact the performance of the rootstock and thus the production of the variety. The choice of rootstock is therefore critical to optimize the science performance. So how are we going about testing the new rootstocks? We're looking for new orchards that will be developed in the coming season in the Sirius or Wolseley area or Stellenbosch under less than optimal conditions so that we can properly gauge the performance of the new rootstocks. About 11 different rootstocks will be included in the trial, two controls, Carcamas and Atlas, as well as some new ones, Barrier 1, Nichols, Mirror Red, Controller 9, Controller 6 and 7, Controller 9.5, Cornerstone, and perhaps some more root packs. Data will be collected on tree vigor, that is the trunk circumference, tree height, and tree volume where possible, productivity, so that is kilograms of fruit harvested per tree annually and then cumulatively, the yield efficiency calculated annually and cumulatively. We will look at the fruit quality in the final two seasons of harvest, looking at the individual fruit mass, diameter, firmness, sugar and acid levels. We will do full visual and sensory evaluations as well as looking for disorders. Nematode analysis of the soil will occur in the first year of planting as well as the fourth year of the trial. The progress up to date, we are identifying the sites and the sign varieties. This is important for compatibility of the rootstocks, both in the soils and to test the soils, as well as the synchronization with the sign variety so as not to skew production data. The soil, soil analysis and characterization is being done in this coming season. About half of the rootstocks will only be available in 2021, thus a combined planting was decided on for the next, for the next year's planting season. So what will the impact of this research be on the industry and what is the future? The aim of this project is to expand on our current body of knowledge with regards to peach and nectarine rootstocks. This is to enable producers to choose the best adapted, most resilient and most productive rootstock for their new orchard developments. This should ensure the long-term sustainability and productivity of the industry. We aim to continually test new imported rootstocks to offer improvements on our current choices of rootstocks. I would like to thank and acknowledge the following institutions for the support of the project, Old Growth Science for the initiation of the project, as well as funding and input from the Rootstock Evaluation Committee and the Peer Working Group. SAPO, Stargrow and United Exports for the availability of, the, of their rootstocks for this project, as well as funding. My fellow researchers at Provar for the support as well as Dr. Piet Stassen for his technical input. Thank you very much.